My name is Davey Todd and today I'm here at Race World Studio answering some questions about TT3. After three years out um, due to COVID, I, I, I thought it was going to be a really difficult time going back to the TT. Um, and I was a little bit worried about what it was going to be like, um, as were all the other riders. But that was where, again, the TT game came in for me, was playing that a lot. Uh, doing the virtual TT uh, when we had lockdown over in England. Um, that kept the course fresh in my mind and honestly when I went back to the TT for first practice it felt like I'd never been away. It didn't feel like we'd had any uh, break whatsoever. There's so many of them honestly it feels like an all new game which is really exciting but They've moved on so much with the development of the game. The realism of it is so good. It's, I was really impressed straight away um, on the realistic mode, on the realistic setting. The feeling of the bike feels honestly like real life. Like if you brake too hard, trailing the brake too hard, you'll tuck the front. If you accelerate too hard, you can you can crash as well. Um, it's, it's so realistic. There's so many details in which has been covered um, that, that wasn't in the in the previous instalment. Um, the graphics and the and the the look of the course is really impressive. It it really feels like you're in the game, and uh, I think that's I think that's a, a really big difference in it. Um, the handling of the bike as well is totally different and definitely feels more realistic. But also on the other end of the scale, um, if you maybe a novice to, to games and want to get involved with playing the TT game. Uh, this has a beginner mode that is so much easier to play than the last game if you want to play in beginner mode. It's, I think, suited to all uh, capabilities, all abilities at, uh, at playing games. So it's all covered there, like whether you want your all-out realism game or a beginner game and you just want to get involved with the TT course. Originally, I used the TT game to, to learn the course and I, I really spent a lot of hours playing the game, a lot of hours, but now I definitely still use it to play the game, not as much as I used to, because uh, I was playing it every single day back in uh, 2017 and 18, but uh, I still, I, it's still a really big part of my preparation for going to the Alaman TT, to use the game to keep the course fresh in my mind and know where all the bumps are, all the corners, and, and, and it really is a, a big part of uh, my run up to the TT using the game. I like going on alone sometimes, but uh, normally, as you can imagine, uh, I'm pretty competitive, given that my job is to, uh, to race against people. Uh, I always like to race against people, whether it's online against random guys which is it's usually pretty fun because given my name on the online on playstation people recognize you pretty quick and it's funny you get chatting to some some different tt fans um, but yeah i definitely love the competition i think the new open world feature is a a really cool addition to the game i know everybody likes going on free roam from time to time it's less stressful you can just go on and have a little bit of fun messing around with a bike um, seeing if you can do some wheelies and, and fun stuff like honestly like riders like doing in real life we like to just go on free roam and, and uh, cruise around sometimes as well honestly for me it's really cool to be involved uh, in the last two TT games um, me because growing up as a as a kid obviously playing motorbike video games and and now getting to the point now where i'm, I'm racing uh, professionally um to now be involved with a playstation game where you can play as yourself i think is uh is a is a crazy thing but it's really cool to be involved in the development of such a realistic game that honestly you can play on and and compare the differences uh, what it's like playing the game to what it's like in real life because uh, I guess not many people can do that. 
Last year was honestly a tough one. Obviously, it, it went really well. I got my first podium at the TT, which was which was a dream come true, really. Um, but also, practice was a really good time for me. I, I was feeling good and riding good, and um, given some issues that we had, um, some tire issues that we had in the first race, it spoiled, it put a little bit of a dampener on my race week, and the results were maybe not what I expected after practice week. So. I was really happy, don't get me wrong, but I know more is possible for next year. So for this year, um, I definitely want to improve. I just want to keep moving forward and getting my first podium has definitely lit a fire inside me that that's, I don't want it to be my last one. I want many more and I've had a third position. Now you want a you know, you want that top step of the podium, you want a first position, so that's certainly what I'm going to be fighting for. I give a few people a, a bit of advice on coming to the TT for the first time to, to learn, learn in the course and stuff like that, because the most important part of racing the Isle of Man TT is learning, learning the course. Be, Learn it, trying to learn 38 miles of course is really difficult and learning every single bump and every single corner you know you need to know every inch of that track and one of the most important uh, important things and best ways of doing that is on the TT game um, it's a perfect representation of the course so you can play and when you make a mistake you can see your mistake in real life as where doing laps in a in a car you, you can only drive around at 30 miles per hour a lot of the time they have speed limits and you can only drive on one side of the road same as watching onboard videos you can't see your mistakes so all of it added up um, is your preparation for the tt but the tt game is a big part of it i'm really excited for the game to be released on may the 11th um, and to play against all you guys online, but also to hopefully see you guys at the TT in real life too.